Hey everyone, this is Steve from Publish Press, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can improve your WordPress publishing by cleaning up the editing screen. What I mean by that is, you can remove some of the features around the outside of the WordPress editing screen, and you can remove them only for certain roles. So for example, maybe you don't want your subscribers or contributors or authors to edit the permalink or the categories or the tags or the featured image, or maybe you don't want them to edit the body text. All of that can be removed. This is possible thanks to the Publish Press Capabilities plugin. Once you install it, it's going to give you a option called Editor Features. This is available under the Capabilities link in your admin menu and under the Editor Features link. Almost all of the items on the post editing screen are going to be available to be disabled. So let's take a look. At the moment, we're looking at the top bar left. This is the Add Block button, Modes, Undo, Redo, Details, Outline. All of those correspond to these items across the top here. So Add Block, Modes, Undo, Redo, Details. There we go. Add Block, Modes, Undo, Redo, Details. So let me take you through an example of how this works. I'm going to make some modifications for the contributors who are a fairly low user role on a WordPress site. They don't really have many permissions anyway, and I'm going to take some of those away from them. In the area which says top bar left, I'm going to check the boxes for all those items in the top left corner of the editing screen. And then I'll click on Save Changes. And I happen to have a user account set up and ready for testing. Now, if I go to the post screen and if I click on Add New, all of those items in the top left corner are gone. So this is one of the powers of the Publish Press Capabilities plugin. Let's take this a step further. Imagine that we don't want our contributors to have access to the permalink, categories, tags, featured image, excerpt, and discussion. We don't want them to have access to these boxes on the right side of the screen. Well, I'm going to go back to my administrator account. I will go to capabilities and editor features. I'm going to make sure that I choose the contributor role and I'm going to scroll down. We have the top bar, the features on the left. We have the top bar, the features on the right. We have the body, which controls whether the users can see the title and the content. And then on the right side, we have the boxes we were just talking about. So I'm going to check permalink, categories, tags, featured image, excerpt, discussion, and I'll do post attributes as well. I'm going to click on Save Changes. And now, if I go to test my user account, Posts, Add New, and let me look on the right-hand side, they're all gone. Thanks to the Publish Press Capabilities plugin, I've completely cleaned up the user interface. This is a much easier experience for someone who's not familiar with WordPress. They're not overwhelmed by so many choices. It's pretty clear and obvious exactly what you want them to be working on. So far, we've been looking at the general post features around the outside of the screen. We've been looking at what's in the top toolbar and what's in the right sidebar. But it's also possible to control the title, the body, and some of the extra features you see, particularly in the Gutenberg editor. Over here in the right hand side, we have the typography box, allowing people to choose the font size, to choose color for the text, and to add extra tweaks to what they're writing. Using Publish Press capabilities, you can also remove those from them as well. Let's see how that works. 
I will go back to my administrator account. I will go to capabilities and editor features. I will choose the contributor role. And if I scroll down in the body area, I'm going to choose to remove the title. They are a low level user and I want to make sure that I choose the title that I think is most appropriate for the content. And a little further down, I'm going to remove some of those extra Gutenberg features as well. For example, I really don't want them increasing the font size or messing with the color. None of that stuff is really necessary for them. So I've saved those changes to the contributor. And if I go to users, I will test my contributor user. And this is what they see. They do have the ability to write the main body text. But that's really about it. This is actually a quite enjoyable writing experience. Almost everything has been removed. They can write what they want to, but they, they're not distracted by any of those extra features there. And being a contributor, they also can't publish their content. So once they've written it, they can submit it for review. And then I can come along as an administrator. The post that they've written is saved. And as an administrator, I have all the features. I can do what I want. I can add my title. And I have full access to all of Gutenberg's normal features. This is really a very powerful feature in the Publish Press Capabilities plugin. It works for Gutenberg and it works for Classic Editor as well. So if you do want to improve your WordPress publishing, head over to grab a copy of Publish Press Capabilities now. This feature I've been describing is completely free to use. It's available in the free version of the plugin from WordPress.org. And if you do want more plugins and more features to improve your WordPress publishing, head over to publishpress.com.